Strippers and fried chicken, not the most HR-friendly combination for lunch with colleagues. Despite this, the Gold Club has become one of San Francisco's most popular lunch spots, drawing hordes of tech workers with its $5 cover charge and free lunch buffet. Most people come in, they're curious about the buffet, they stay and have a good time, they watch the dancers on stage, maybe they indulge in some private dances, they have a couple drinks. It's a little bit faster paced than maybe like a nighttime shift. Some people do have to go back to work. What is a typical figure for a Friday, let's say during the day for you guys, uh, in terms of revenue? Potentially fifteen to twenty thousand dollars worth of sales that day. Just the day shift. The Gold Club is around the corner from Yelp, Optimizely, and Salesforce, and can draw more than 300 people from the surrounding startups and tech companies for Friday lunch. For some, the establishment is an example of how tone-deaf a male-dominated tech industry can be. For the Gold Club, it's a business opportunity that's paying off. Is your guys' rise coincide with kind of this boom in, in the tech industry right now? Yeah, so we, we, we've seen a rise in, in not only our revenue, but also our guest count, anywhere from 25-30% every year for the past several years. I do mostly see guys from the tech industry, and those are my favorite people to work with. They're usually my best customers, definitely. So they spend a lot of money? They do spend money, but it's more than that. It's just that they're nice to be around. I mean, I'm into nerds, what can I say? The tech companies come in quite often, um, see them all the time. And sometimes celebrate IPOs? Absolutely, we get tons of IPOs in here. 